So David Duke and the alt-right and other people who, you know, have bigotry as a cornerstone of their ideology, they, of course, supported Donald Trump for president. Now, listen, I'm not in the crowd that likes to tar every Donald Trump supporter as if they're like those people, because they're not. It's just not true. There are some people who voted twice for Obama, and then they voted for Trump, and they voted for him because they thought he might break up the establishment and actually look out for working people. That didn't happen. <laughs> um, but the motivation for every Trump voter wasn't the same. But we do have here an interesting fact that uh, the alt-right supporters of Trump are not going to be happy with. Trump sent fewer Mexicans home from U.S. in 2017 than Obama in 2016. Wow. Isn't that wild? You know... The more you follow the details of what goes on in Washington, the more your mind is blown about how much rhetoric doesn't match up with reality. So one of the things I talk about all the time now, because I just learned this fact recently, is that, uh, you know, Trump ran on, I'm the anti-outsourcing guy, you know, I'm against TPP, I hate NAFTA. Uh, he even, remember when he did that whole song and dance about saving those factory jobs at the carrier factory? Uh, well, by the way, they actually ended up outsourcing those jobs anyway. When nobody was looking. So they did this whole thing, oh, we're going to keep the jobs in the country. And they shook down the government. They got a giant corporate welfare check. And then they outsourced the jobs anyway. When nobody was looking. Months later. So that was a ruse. That was a scam. But overall, it was a scam too. Trump's not against outsourcing. First of all, he outsources his own jobs to 12 different countries. So you're clear clearly not against outsourcing. Uh, but furthermore, under Trump, in his first year, 93,000 jobs were outsourced. Obama's last year, uh, 87,000 jobs were outsourced. So both bad, but Trump outsourced more than Obama. So Mr. Anti-Outsourcing was totally for outsourcing. And now we learn this is the case with, uh, with the issue of immigration, or with deportations, I should say. So Obama deported roughly 205,000 people in his last year. Uh, Trump deported 152,000 people. So... Now, look, it does, it does get more complicated than this because the reality is that uh, apparently, I, I learned this recently as well, 90% of the people that Obama deported were criminals. So I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I'm fine with deporting criminals. Now, I'm not fine with deporting nonviolent drug criminals because I don't think they should be criminals considered criminals in the first place. So I wouldn't deport those people. But I'd deport other criminals, sure. But so, you know, maybe I agree with the large chunk of the people that Obama um, deported. But in terms of Trump, there have been countless stories. Now, granted, they're anecdotal. I don't know what the overall statistics are on how many people Trump deported who are criminals, as he would call them, bad hombres. <laughs> I don't know how many people Trump deported that are criminals versus aren't criminals. But I, I've seen stories, I've read stories, we've covered the stories of, you know, for example, ICE uh, taking somebody out of a hospital when they had a brain tumor. Like, those stories happen. The stories of, no, they're not just going after criminals, they're going after people who are not criminals, and there's many examples of that. So, I don't know what the overall statistics are for Trump, but obviously I would oppose all the deportation of all the non-criminals. I would do the same under Obama. But it is a surprising fact, isn't it? That he's deported 152,000 and Obama deported 205,000 in his last year. So, in other words, look, everybody's got to got to stick to the facts, you know? And um that's not something that happens a lot in our political discourse. It's just not. Trump's rhetoric is infinitely more racist than Obama's, but Deporting 152,000, Trump did, versus 205,000, Obama. It's hard to make the case that he's worse on the issue of deportations when he deported fewer people. <laughs> I mean, it is. That is just hard to make that case. You could try. You know, hey, maybe we find out what? Half the people Trump deported are not criminals. In which case, yes, I would say he's worse even though he deported fewer people. But I'm not sure about those numbers, so I, we can't, I can't make that conclusion at the moment. But anyway, this is an interesting fact. I think people should know it. Do with it what you will. And also, we'll see what happens going forward. Because, you know, 
I wouldn't put it past Trump to break the deportation record. Obama broke the deportation record, just so everybody knows. But I, I wouldn't put it past Trump to break it, especially if he, if he believes even 25% of the rhetoric that he used on the campaign trail. He probably will break that record. But numbers don't lie, and right now the picture is not exactly what you thought it was.